All right, this is a little bit different than what we've been doing. This is inverses of nonlinear functions. And linear functions, the inverses, it actually gets pretty easy, I, I think. So, but the process is the same. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename our function here. So we're going to find this inverse function. First thing I'm going to do, write, write out your steps. First thing I'm going to do is switch f of x with y, and then x cubed plus 2. Right? Second thing I'm going to do is, second thing I'm going to do is solve for x. Um, okay, so solve for x. We have y minus 2 equals x cubed. Right, I'm still solving for x because I don't want x cubed. I want x, so let's do that. Let's take the third root of x cubed. Isn't that right? I'm going to take the third root here, right? So now we have, I'm just going to write this this way. If you don't mind, I'm going to write x is equal to the cube root of y minus 2. Last thing for me is switch x and y. And that would look like this. That would equal y is equal to, right? I'm just going to, this is what I'm doing here. I'm going to switch this out. Here's y right here. This is y right here. And this is y right here. This is x right here. And this is x, whoops, sorry. Right? So now I'm just going to just keep writing, but I'm just going to switch all the places there. So we had the cube root of, of y, but we're switching that for x. So now we have x minus 2, and there's our answer, all right? All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one really quickly. Let's do this. I think you're going to see really quickly what what the process is here. This is not terrible, I don't think. It's 3 fifths x cubed minus 9. Same thing, I'm going to switch. I'm um, not switching, so I'm going to replace f of x. We're going to call it y for now. I'm going to just rewrite the rest of it as 3 fifths x cubed cubed minus 9, right? Remember, solving for x, solve for x. So first thing we do is add 9 to both sides. So we get y plus 9 is equal to 3 fifths x cubed. All right, now what? How about we do this? How about we multiply both sides by 5 thirds, right? Because that would, right? So 5 thirds. Whoops. This is all over 1. So here's my 5 thirds. 5 thirds, same thing, isn't it? So far, so good? It's 5 thirds, so we'll get 5y plus 9 all over 3, won't we? Is equal to x cubed. What am I doing here? Oh, look. Ooh, 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 you see the mistake I made? Good for you. Somebody caught that. Five, I multiplied that. I got the 5y. I multiply 5 times 9. I get 45, right? 45 here. Good job. 45. This can be simplified, I think. Gosh, I don't know if I want to do that or not. But I'm going to do it just for giggles. I'm going to do that. I'm going to break this up. And I'm going to say 5y over 3 plus, right, 45 over 3 is 15. Is it going to x cubed? I'm still solving for x. This is really turned into something, hasn't it? So do it this way. Take the cube root of both sides. Cube root of both sides. Right? Now what? Exactly. Switch x and y. So we're going to get the cube root of 5x plus 3 plus 15, this is all going to be under that radical right there, isn't it, is equal to y, and there's our answer. All right, that was, um, well, that was a lot. Okay, should we do one more? Sure, you'd love to. Oh my gosh, Charlie, please, 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 can we do one more? Sure. Want to do one more? No, you know what, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep this like this. I, there are tons of videos I've done like this, so hopefully this was helpful. Um, thanks for watching. Comments. If you catch any mistakes I make, please let me know. I'll give you a gold star.